Good morning, everybody. Oh, can you do that again? I'm sorry. I, I squeaked <laughs> over you. <laughs> Second take, everyone. Good morning, everybody. It is free run time once again. And there's a thousand of you motherfuckers now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much! <sighs> I don't even have words, you guys. Dude. I'm just so so grateful so happy and i love all of you guys like i just love reading your comments and interacting with you and i'm so sorry i haven't had the time to comment back more to reply but i really want to do that in the future because how man. did we attract the nicest people on the entire and they're world? not just the nicest they're also analytical yeah. and smart and they have a lot of interesting life experiences dude did you read that one comment about this family man who was talking about how in our last episode you were saying that as you get older it seems like you try to avoid conflict as much as possible and that's why it's the privilege of the young mm. did you remember that i didn't yeah i remember that yeah, yeah 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 he made a comment saying that he thought that you were he was like as a an older gentleman with the family and kids you're like right on the money is what he was saying Oh my god. <laughs> he had some interesting points. And I need to read that. Yeah. yeah, I need to put your comment right here because you're awesome. Thank you. I'm, Thank you for watching. I'm so us. happy. Like, I always picture that everyone watching is just like the same age. Yeah, or like our there. age. So right? seeing people like, I feel like honored to have people who have their lives together watching our video. I know. I'm like, thank you. That's awesome. Because you guys like have lives, you know? I mean, we have lives too. But you have children to take care of, a family to raise, and you're taking time out of your day to watch us? Like, that's crazy. I'm proud that we're worth that, that, <laughs> that we're entertaining enough that you want to spend that time, yeah. Yeah, and we had that one on our Patreon. He's from where again? Oh, it's Finland, I think. Finland, right? Yeah. We got some people from Japan. We got people from other parts of the world as well. It's amazing. A lot, like half of you guys are from Japan, which is actually crazy. Like, I don't know how that happened. That's a miracle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And some of them were talking about our Japanese and saying yeah. that our pronunciation was good. And I was like, ah, oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the no way? Uh, how do you say that again? Tonde mo nai. Tonde mo nai. I wanted to flex so bad. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I'm not Japanese if I say thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's just mada mada das. Okay. Tonde mo nai. Mada mada das. Yo. But you guys are so sweet and I'm just so happy you guys are on board and we get to talk and interact with y'all. It's man anyway i miss this show i miss recording it's been a while it's been a bit we've, oh we've had fires getting put out yes and oh my god the our one subscriber who was checking in on us our yeah. like mental health god i need to reply to her uh, or him sorry if i i need to reply to them <laughs> <laughs> because ah that was just so sweet that they were checking up on us yeah, yeah. you guys yeah Thank you. You guys are so nice. Well, I didn't know there was nice people on the internet. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't know that... This is why I'm not on social media except YouTube, because since I was little, I've always noticed that YouTube kind of has this really nice community that it can create with its comments. And, yeah. And whenever I go... If I ever go on Instagram or TikTok, I just immediately delete the app because the people there are so mean and toxic. That's how you know that YouTube Shorts is filled with just more TikTok kids because the comments are like mean and stupid. Yeah, but even then it's not as mean or stupid as they are on on TikTok, dude. Like some of the top comments are just people commenting on girls' bodies and how like, "Oh, you're ugly for this" or "I can't believe they did that" or "This is cringe." Like those are the top comments. And it'll be a girl just like saying something informative. You know what I'm saying? Or like doing a dance. It's like, guys, chill. Like, like those comments Jesus. exist on other platforms, but they don't usually get the most likes. Yeah. yeah. So that was my experience from the five minutes I was on TikTok before I deleted to it. To be fair, it's it's really just a bunch of prepubescent boys who think that they have cooties. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 
anyway. Anyway, I'm glad you guys are here. I'm, I'm really, given all of that, given that that's my expectation, right? I mean, that's my expectation when it comes to the internet, comment sections, whatever. The fact that you guys are genuinely just cool people, like, is wild to me. I think even for YouTube comments, mm -hmm. like, you guys are so cool. Yeah. Because they'll point out the most interesting analytical stuff, mm -hmm. and I'm like, yes. They're like, oh, you guys... Our subscribers are so smart. They're like, oh, you guys missed a facial expression because you were laughing. Like, who does that? Like, who cares that... You guys care that much. True! You're fucking I love awesome. that you guys care. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. it'll be their favorite... This obscure... Guys. Yeah. When I was editing, I did see the little bit of animation where Friren was sliding on the roof. Trust me, I saw it. Okay, when we were recording, I didn't notice because <laughs> I looked away right as it happened. But yes, while I was editing, I noticed that. And I was like, dang, that's the cutest bit of animation. Which episode is that last And there episode? were some people saying that that was their favorite bit of animation in the episode or in the show. You know what? That's episode 14? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still haven't seen that part. You know where it is. Um, yes, it's when they're on the roof conversing. Good opportunity to drink my coffee. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> this sound design there. It's immaculate. It's perfect. I just love the like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the way her little arms work. I love how slow it is. Yeah, because like, she's trying to be careful. The the way I still can in the same way that when a uh, fern jumped off the log and like still here like. I really feel like there's a kind of a weird a weird sense of realism, like almost a comedically realism kind of thing mm -hmm. with the way that the characters move here. Yes. I love that. I love it too. They just put so much effort into their animation. Like characters mm -hmm. will just be walking and in a normal anime, at least these days. Yeah. yeah because, yeah. you know, economy in Japan, I've heard, is not very good. So <laughs> poor animators, but yeah. they'll be like, do do yeah. Like, that's the animation for walking. But in Freedom, they're, like, doing... Yeah. They're, like, real people. Yeah. Like, like they, they thought about it. They thought about if she's going to slide down the roof, she's not just going to go, shwoomp. It, it's, like, it's it's a frictious surface on, like, fabric. She's going to go... Thun, 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 Absolutely. Thun, like, barely move. She tries to slide, and she's like... Eh. It's so good. That's so good. I love it. And people were like, this is my favorite bit of animation. Like I, I love you guys. You guys are so cool. You, I want to be friends with that. Like, like that. You're like I want. Can we be all be friends? Yeah. I, cause, <laughs> oh man, I don't want to be all parasocial and weird. <laughs> but, like, but you guys are cool. So. If you guys ever change your username or your icons, I'm not gonna be able to recognize yeah. you, and I'm gonna cry. Yeah. Genuinely. So never change them, or tell us <laughs> if you change them, so we know. Be like, by the way, I'm the guy with the yeah, mouse icon. Like... <laughs> <laughs> it's the guy. Oh, it's my boy. <laughs> So thank you guys, oh my goodness. And like we promised, now that we're at a thousand subs, we now have early access on Patreon. So once this video is out, there is already episode, so we're on episode 15, 16 is already on Patreon if you guys are interested. So yeah. <laughs> thank you guys for preview. your support. Future Dell, put a sneak preview of episode 16 here. I really God. love mushrooms, guys. I love mushrooms. Because I noticed some of you guys joined the Patreon but haven't actually donated anything, and I'm like, are they waiting for more benefits? <laughs> <laughs> okay, real quick, guys. Okay, we're having this debate. So, uh, got to a thousand subscribers, meaning we can finally make AdSense cash, you know, which is kind of cool. Like, you know? We made five dollars, dude! Yeah! <laughs> ah, five dollars! <laughs> Sorry. Dude, that's like Woo! a... Yeah. <laughs> that's money! That's like a whole meal if you go down to yeah, South America. Yeah, dude! Like, it's amazing. Five bucks. Dude. So, we're debating whether to turn on mid-roll ads in videos. This is like a thing, because philosophically, I don't... The only reason I, I even want to turn on... Like, YouTube's gonna put ads on anyway. Yes, they so are. So I'm like, fuck it. Give me some of the pie, right? Mm -hmm. But... They won't put on mid-roll ads unless I explicitly check a thing saying go ahead and ruin the video. <laughs> but like, would it? Because I, I can't stand mid-roll ads. Like I, it's I just hate it so much. Are we allowed to say this on the internet? He uses ad blocker. Oh hell yeah, and and I know that because this is the thing. This is what we're talking about. Like, if you guys hate ads as much as I do, you're also using an ad blocker. So like, you won't see the ads anyway. Meanwhile, I do not care about ads at all. I mean, they're a mild annoyance, but I'm patient enough to just wait the 15 seconds 
or however long it takes for me to skip. So it makes no difference to me if there's an ad in the middle. Also, I've seen some channels do this really funny thing. Well, they'll be like, who's that Pokemon? And then choose where to put the ad and then at the <laughs> oh, end of that's it. that's cute. Or there's this other guy, he does um, animal facts and he's like, okay, guess which animal does this? Okay, I'll give you some, I'll put an ad here to give you some time to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that when they're creative about it, but even if they're not, you know, I'm just like, okay, commercial, I'm just gonna wait. I like okay, back to the good stuff. <laughs> I like Doug Doug, whose audience could redeem channel points in order to force everyone else to watch an ad during one of his streams. Wow. <laughs> Dang. There was a whole thing. I don't think it. we're big enough to get away no, with something like no, that. Absolutely no, absolutely not. But yeah, that's, I just wanted, if any of you care deeply and are like, I am down to, I'm okay with, if you're like in this specific weird middle margin, you're like, I, I'm down with watching an ad at the beginning. We're skipping it out of the beginning, but if one appears in the middle, I'm leaving. That, yeah, I'm clicking yeah. off this video. Yeah, let me know, because I don't want to annoy you guys. Um, like, I, I honestly, I might not even turn on the mid-roll ads, even if you guys are okay with it, because I hate them so fucking much. Yeah. <laughs> but, but it's, you know... But it's rough out here, guys. Yeah, it's a, it's a thing that would help us, you know, support Inflation is crazy. Ta <laughs> Gas prices are going up again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As someone who drives... <laughs> So, you know, it having that little bit of extra income would be really useful. <sighs> it's weird that I feel bad about it. I don't know. But, I get you. Yeah, it's because yeah. you don't like ads. I don't like ads. And I, I don't care about ads. Like, I've never used an ad blocker. The only time... Ooh, Dell helped me put an ad blocker on my webpage so that when I read manga online, mm. in maybe not the best places, <laughs> I don't get these random, like... Porn ads. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Ariel's like, I'm only here for one doge and not the rest of this. Come on. Guys. <laughs> you guys just call me out. <laughs> I'm trying to read the latest chapter of Oshinoko. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> uh... Don't read corn, kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It gives you some weird expectations. <laughs> oh man, we should have, we should have like a. Would you guys watch like a podcast where we talked about weird? <laughs> where we talked about weird. Would you shit? listen to our podcast? Period. Because yeah. I've always wanted to make a podcast, but I don't know if anyone would want to listen to us. We have um five hours of footage of just. Me, Ariel, and Adam talking about Across the Spider-Verse. No, 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 that's um, me, you, and Shamash. Sorry, not Adam, Shamash. Remember yes. That? Our, I meant to say Shamash, what the hell? It's um, okay, it I, happens. I was thinking, I was picturing him. Yes, oh, I believe you, yeah. I believe you. Anyway, um, his beautiful face. So, <laughs> <I think that, laughs> Shamash is a very handsome boy. Mm. So, I think, would you guys watch that? I don't know. <laughs> would you guys listen to five hours? <laughs> I think we also talked about the Mario movie. We did talk we about, talked the, Mario about the Mario movie. movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, oh, man, I should have recorded us talking about Dune. I was like, this would have made mm. such a good podcast. Because we watched, guys, tell me, please, have any of you guys watched Dune Part 2? And just talk to me about it. I'm going to say right now, uh, you can call me basic. You can say that it's recency bias. But it's my favorite movie. <laughs> it's my favorite movie of all time. Because people were like, ah, the first one kind of ends off at a weird place. It's really slow. There's not enough humor or character, blah, blah. None of that affected my enjoyment of part one. Like, part one, I think, was a 10 out of 10 to me. You were because already considering, you were at, at the time, your first thought was that it might be your favorite movie. Yes, part one. Yeah. I was like, this might be my favorite movie. Because, guys, I cannot stress enough. I do not like sci-fi. <laughs> she I, fucking can't. I usually she can't do, it. do not like sci-fi. And it's not like the concepts are cool, right? But when it's a visual medium, like maybe I could read a sci-fi. Like the most I've enjoyed sci-fi is when I read it. But if I try watching a sci-fi movie or a TV show, there's just so much exposition. And they do not take advantage of their visual medium so i don't want to hear cool concepts because there's cooler concepts in real life like <laughs> i love learning about like biology physics chemistry 
Why would I learn about made up <laughs> rules for how the world works? You know, why would I just listen to someone give me false information when I could be listening to a podcast of two scientists discussing this new discovery instead? And also aliens are usually not very creative. They're just humans but green or humans but blue or some animal that already exists on planet Earth. So anyway, <laughs> sorry about this whole um, sci-fi rant. But that's what I loved so much about Dune Part 1 was it took advantage of its visual medium amazingly. Like it wasn't just spewing exposition at me. There weren't characters talking about things that they should already know. Like you live in this world. Why are you talking to each other like your kindergarteners learning about this for the first time? Clearly it's just for me and it just like takes me out of it. I was so immersed in Dune Part 1. Like I was in that world. I was in their heads. All the characters are so competent and cool. Like Paul knows like three languages. Mm. They have the sign language. Paul he, kicks ass. Yes. He had that language that he spoke just with the doctor so that his mom couldn't hear. Paul's the only character to be more competent in his first movie than in the sequel. <laughs> his mom, like, kicks yes, butt. Bro. Like, the voice. Give Dude, me the knife. I knew going into Dune that it inspired Star Wars. So when I was watching it, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Star Wars kind of took a lot from <laughs> Dune. And I'm looking at Star Wars like, this is like the baby version. <laughs> this is like Dune for kids. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah. Sorry! <laughs> Maybe I should put this at the end of the video. I don't like Star Wars. <laughs> We're gonna make enemies. Guys. I'm sorry, I can't- No, here's Guys. The, here, here's the thing. I haven't watched Star Wars. I haven't watched the original trilogy. You know what I freaking saw? My first Star Wars movie was- What was the one with Rogue Ray? One? Oh no, oh god. What was the one with Ray? <laughs> Oh, you didn't even watch um, the first of the new trilogy. You watched the second one. No, I watched the first of the oh, new trilogy. Oh, okay. You watched the, the... The Force Awakens? Force Awakens, yeah. I watched the Force... That was my first... Star I'm sorry. My dad tried getting me to watch Star Wars as a kid, and I don't know why I said no. I, Probably because I, I didn't like sci-fi. I started with the prequels. We watched the movies. In, my parents showed me the movies in chronological order, which is wild. And here's here's the thing. Okay, leave, leave the roasting Star Wars to me. Let me take my gloves off right here. <laughs> oh, yes. This is now a Star Wars... This is now a Dune podcast. <laughs> this, we're gonna put this some... is a snippet, guys. This is what our podcast would be like. So if you're into this... We're going to need to put timestamps on this. Yeah, episode. we're going to put a timestamp. <laughs> Sorry. Need, we usually don't have a long enough intro to justify that, but we do now. So here's the thing. I think that um, I remember watching it and like, I think it's like cool. Like the, the visuals still genuinely like look good. Like, I mean, they like. There's even, a lot of practical yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like this, the way like it, the, the cinematography is still good. Mm -hmm. um, it's also, it's. But I think this. But the thing is, they that, filmed on a real desert. Here's the thing about Dune, right? So Dune, not Dune. Here's the thing about uh, Star, Wars. Star Wars, right? So in the thing is that Star Wars is a lot like uh, Avatar 2009, in that it's a movie that was really groundbreaking in terms of visual effects, mm. and that a lot of the magic comes from watching something like that you didn't think could be brought to life in this way, brought to right. life. And so watching it from a modern perspective. Even though it still looks good, it's not. It doesn't have that revolutionary panache. That mm. this is something I've never seen on. I could, didn't think was possible. It right. It doesn't have that, and because of that, now it shows how mid the story is. Mm, is it? <laughs> because the the plot is not that good. Mm. There's like one good plot twist that everyone knows. Yeah. Uh, but like most of it is kind of fine and it doesn't help that george lucas like ruined the tone of some of the scenes by like throwing in new extra cg stuff that he wanted like there's mm. the like job of the hut's palace which is supposed to be this dark cd place is now ruined by this pop band that interrupts to play their music and show off all the new special effects he learned Dang. which like completely while this like other girls getting eaten alive like it like completely <laughs> yeah yeah Bit of a total mismatch there, I think, Mr. Lucas. Whoa. And that's the version I watched. I didn't watch the original cinematic version that... That everyone have, grew up on. That or... they have made impossible to find. Dang, that yeah. sucks. So... 
Man, artists can be some of the most insecure people in the world, you know? Yeah. They can be perfectionists. Yeah. Disappointing. So, I, I get where he's coming from, mm -hmm. but it just makes me sad because I have friends who draw, I have friends who are artists, mm -hmm. and, and I also wanted to start YouTube when I was like, man, what, like eight, nine years ago? Almost like a yeah. decade. But I was just too insecure and scared to ever start. And now that I'm older, I just, it makes me sad. Like I want to encourage artists to be brave and to embrace even, because guys, people love seeing progress. Like some videos that go viral and blow up are artists who have drawings of when they were nine mm, years old and then yeah. just progressing because no one's gonna judge you for the stuff that you did. Even if you're like middle-aged and you're starting something for the first time and it's not very good, it's so inspirational to see someone try to learn something new at whatever age and just keep at it and being consistent and perfecting their craft and improving. Yeah, so I hope artists can learn to accept their art for what it is, even if it isn't perfect. Sorry, I kind of derailed. The imperfections in your art are proof that it is not AI generated. Yes! <laughs> So flex it's, that shit. Oh, wow, it's proof that you're human. It's beautiful, truly. Literally poetry. <laughs> yeah. You could you could probably draw a stick figure with clothes on and someone's going to be like, wow, that's pretty good. Like, I can't do that. <laughs> that's me. I'm going to be like that. I'm going to be like, damn, I like the posing on that, though. Yeah. I remember in middle school, I would like... I was too lazy to draw something, mm. so I just do a kind of high effort stick figure, and yeah. people would be like, "Whoa!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know. Anyway. No, seriously, that's all. Like, I think everyone thinks that everyone else is better than they are because we see like the top like point zero zero one percent. You know, mm -hmm. it's not even the top one percent that we're seeing. Like when you watch those videos of like, look at this thing I drew. You know. Or if you're on Twitter like me, yeah. I don't really use Twitter. I literally only used it to scroll through Japanese artists account because yeah uh if you look at Japanese artists on Twitter it's like Jesus bro but, your like artistic talent and skill is just but that's not like the top one percent that you're looking at because I mean one in a hundred you're looking at like one in a ten thousand right right top, that's not point zero one percent yeah everyone is not as good as you think they are <laughs> Meaning you're probably better than you think you are. Mm -hmm. If you just do the thing a lot, yes. you'll yeah, you'll be a lot better than you think you can be. Oh, Star Wars. The the the, the my favorite piece of Star Wars media is um <laughs> Rogue One. That was the first movie where during like the space battles I was like, Oh I get it. This is how people felt when they watched like Star Wars back in the day. And it's really funny that that's my favorite Star Wars because it has the same cinematographer. For as Dune! <laughs> and he did the Magdalonian? Magda Mandalorian. <laughs> English isn't my first language, guys. Those <laughs> that's not English. I know. Oh, that's that's <laughs> Conlang. <laughs> you don't have an excuse. Okay, <laughs> I'm just stupid, oh, you guys. Oh, my sides. Oh, right, same cinematographer. Also, Rogue One was my favorite Star Wars. Dude, I like, I was a kid when I watched that movie, and I was like balling at Ro Rogue One. Not my ro- Spoilers, not my robot! <laughs> I, I like, the moment that, like, the first, you know, we're gonna spoil the shit out of Rogue One. Yeah. The moment that, I think it was when, the, when they kill off the robot, I was like, okay, everyone's gone. <laughs> oh, you were like, everyone- Wait a minute! It was because you spoiled me for that movie. I did. Yeah, you did. We were talking about. Um, I'm <laughs> we were, sorry. We were all sitting around in the circle. It's okay. It did not ruin my enjoyment at all. But I have to I'm roast sorry. you. I have to, Ariel. It's oh, okay, but I no. have to roast you. We were all standing around in a circle to, after a different movie, and then we, we were talking about Rogue One, and Ariel was like, "Oh, I loved Rogue One. Ending made me sad. The ending was sad though." And I was like, "Oh." And I was like, "Oh." <laughs> It's a mid -quel. I think they might. And then when I saw the robot die, I was like, yep. I, I, I get like, yep, you. They're, dying. they're all gone. But you it know. meant that I wasn't that sad when it ended. I was like, I felt satisfied with it. So mm -hmm. it actually kind of helped. Honestly, like, I don't know why. I'm kind of a weirdly not 
super spoiler. There's a few things where it's like I know that like like Fight Club where like I know the spoiler would is like really important. Like it's I really was cool. spoiled. Yeah. I like spent most of my life not knowing the twist and then like she got spoiled for. She told me I got spoiled for Fight Club and I was like I didn't know there was anything to get spoiled for, so I watched it that night. Yeah, I told you that I had gotten spoiled. Yes. Yeah. She didn't tell me the spoiler. Yeah. She just told me that she had been spoiled for it, and I was like, I didn't, she was like, I was like, Fight Club, isn't that the one just about some guys punching each other? I, I, I guess I better watch it, because I didn't know if there was, I didn't know there was a twist to it. And then I watched it, and I was like, oh my god, what the fuck did I just watch? I'm, uh, I'm a nihilist now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Fight Club, like... Fight Club fucks you up. <laughs> uh, dude, I can't talk about politics on the internet, like, uh, I'm not about to get cancelled, I'm just trying to watch cartoons, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But let's just say Fight Club was a very eye-opening experience, and we had a lot of political discussion. Fight Club is a very after. radicalizing movie. <laughs> yeah. I think it was de-radicalizing for me. <laughs> I was, like, more in the center. Mm. I'm stopping there. <laughs> let's just say I moved. Slightly, you know? Ever so slightly. Oh, I meant radical... Uh, okay, I guess. Anyway. I'm gonna um, cough... <laughs> Lisa Ralgai! Lisa Ralgai! Okay, sorry. <laughs> I gotta just had a. My name is Paula Tree. <laughs> anyway, dude, just from start to finish, wow, that movie was just. And those two movies together. Oh yeah, so I didn't know anything going into it and the sci-fi concepts are just so unbelievably cool game of thrones who like i just love the ah and i can see how influential dune must have been i wanted to say dune was ariel's gateway and now she likes three sci-fis okay free <laughs> rent yes <laughs> i'm sorry i spelled the punchline go yeah for it, go for it. no i can edit i can edit it so that do it do it again <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Dune, Scavenger's Reign. Oh, yeah, Scavenger's Reign. And Free Rin. Yeah, now I'm a sci fi junkie. I don't yeah, know what yeah. else to say. Like, <laughs> the three sci fi of yeah, our generation. <laughs> <laughs> the big three. The big three of sci fi Dune, a Scavenger's show. Reign. Dune. <laughs> Dune, a show Dune. nobody watched, <laughs> and, a and, and a fantasy anime. <laughs> <laughs> three favorite three three sci fi. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's watch some free. Yes, wrong episode, Ren. by the way. And I agree. We hashtag free Ren. Free my boy. Get him out of there. <laughs> Kylo Ren. <laughs> free Kylo Ren. Free Kylo Ren. Kylo, Kylo Ren, Ren did nothing, did nothing wrong. wrong. <laughs> I still leave my Absalom did nothing wrong t shirt. Okay, let us know if you'd want a podcast with us talking about Dune for like two hours. Smells like trouble. 29 years since the death of him or the hero. Look at our people! I'm sorry, I missed the show, guys. <laughs> the animation on that. <laughs> she went. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. That exchange made him think that they were pretty Four close. years. Dang, she grew a lot in four years. That makes sense, though. I do like... My god, the animation! The facial animation in this episode is insane. The characters are very expressive. They are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he's not talking about like battle strategy, right? <laughs> oh my god, her face! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I missed her face. I'm sorry. Look, it's just like two dots. <laughs> I love it. I love that. I love Fern just sitting there, like, letting her do her mistakes. Ooh, can we? Can we? <laughs> he really wants Elisa in his party. <laughs> he does want Elisa! <laughs> Freeman hasn't given him that. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, he's looking for that ara ara. Are we gonna get another party member? Mm. Mm. 
Oh. Oh. Oh God. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. I forgot we have a healer. We have I was, a healer I was on board. I make a joke about like an older lady falling right in front of him. But, yeah. Uh, oh, sleep potion. Sleep smell. Sleep. This smells like trouble. You still wear a coffee? Drop. We didn't get sleep last night. I apologize, you guys. Oh, let's head to the next village. <laughs> Imagine if she was actually that indifferent. She can't take anything seriously. I, I think it's hard to when your perspective is like this. Mm -hmm. The music's really selling the atmosphere here, too. Yeah, the music's so good. <gasps> well. <sighs> oh, that's so cool. Wow. God, again, that's Free Run is a sci fi. If they can't the world figure, building is just so if, good. if they can't reverse engineer it, they call it a curse. Yes. You know? It's a spell if they, have the, if they know the science behind it. Freerun is a sci-fi! I just love the writing in the show. So good. Ooh, some demon magic maybe? Oh! Oh, we're gonna learn how his magic works. Oh. That's awesome! Interesting. So the scientists don't understand it, but the sort of they're almost like the witch doctors, right? You know? Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes! Stark asking the questions I would ask. Right. Interesting. Oh, I get you, girl! I get you! Huh. Oh! It's kind of like being blessed by the goddess, you know? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> <Damn! laughs> Mages can't detect curses. They can't even detect them. That's scary. So it's like. <laughs> I love the voice acting. No, you'd man. know. It's like, um, you know, this thing Mike and Ronnie have? It's like radiation kind of thing, right? Yes. Like, they, kn like, like. We're in a we're in a pre metaphorically speaking we're like in a pre nuclear world so they know they're like well this thing like causes bad stuff to happen you know stuff ha we don't know what's causing it though we don't get it yet but we know something's here we can't see it we can't sense it it's not the same thing. I wonder man Friedan is so lucky because maybe she'll live long enough where they get to the point where they can understand goddess magic and mm. demon magic and then uh, she'll have this is so those, much more to learn this is one of the reasons like i want to live forever is just to see knowledge what yeah just yeah. to know everything yes absolutely understand shit. she's lucky that uh the monsters in this world don't know curses because with the amount of mimics that she's been eaten by uh, yeah imagine she'd be dead Ooh, a ritual I'm so excited to learn about how his magic works. Because we've never really seen Hyder heal, you know? I love this. It's a whole different, like, school. Like, ma like there's more than just one... Type of magic. Yeah. Oh, he's... Oh, no. Oh, shit. That's not worth it. It's Dang, Stark's just out of it for this episode. It's like a biologist and a radiologist, you know what I mean? Yes, absolutely. Do you think Stark is less resistant to it because he doesn't know any magic at all? Oh, that's a good point. Freer yeah, and Fern maybe. Both have very high output of yeah. like action. Oh, never mind. There she goes. But she was it took her longer, right? Freeman's yes. probably next. Dude, this is scary! Yeah, this is cool. <sighs> I love how calm he is. I love that. Aww, so cute. It's so interesting having four very calm people in our party. Three very calm people in a party. <laughs> the only one who isn't calm is Stark. It's such a unique character dynamic. It's not like the usual. <gasps> Yeah, oh, five enough. seconds is all she needs, bro. <laughs> she just fell face down. 
Maybe you can't. I'm ready to see her destroy something. I knew this was gonna. I, I was like, yeah, this is gonna be a him episode. Dude, this is awesome. God, the writing is so good. I just appreciate that we're taking the time to get to learn all of these characters individually. You know. I'm gonna pause here. Because he's the newest one in the party. Like we gotta, we gotta learn about him. Mm -hmm. Bruh. <laughs> oh, I was like, you're gonna get detected, but I guess it doesn't matter Whoa, now. Oh, that thing is sick. Ooh. Chaos Flower's a cool name. Feeding off of them? In what way? Mana. Yep. Indirectly. If it's Chaos, it's Dude! Like... The animation, though. And this... You can immediately tell that this is that the director changed, right? It merges with local flora. That's sick. Interesting. So they look different every time. That's kind oh. of cool. Oh. <laughs> it deflected it. I think. Uh, I think we got our boy. What's his name again? Hmm. Or is this a different director? Yeah, it deflected it. Oh my god! I wasn't Bro. ready for this, this episode! I think I know this director. I might. Right, because he has to explain and she has to shoot in that time. <laughs> They've just met and it's already like a high stakes situation. <gasps> no way! Aww. <laughs> I love her party members just roasting her every time. Yeah. It's like unconditional love. Like they know how she is. Dude, I understood like half that sentence. Wow, that's awesome! Bro, you gotta teach me the new Japanese like grammar you've been learning. Actually, it wasn't even new stuff. Ooh, the music, you hear that? Yes, the music in this show is so good. The choir there? Don't fight it alone. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. I cannot get over this. <laughs> she heard one it word. Like, yeah. I love overpowered protagonists, okay? They kick ass. They kick fucking ass, okay? They're the fucking best. <laughs> They're usually not my thing, but I love how it's handled in Freedom. I love how she said got it afterwards. I like it when the show's not afraid of their protagonist being overpowered, you know? Mm -hmm. When they're overpowered, the show's like, yeah. There's <laughs> <laughs> your girl. <laughs> She realized it immediately. Damn. Yes, sir. They would have been dead if it weren't for him. He didn't have to do anything. <gasps> Did you see her backwards? Like, yeah. Oh my god. Aw, and he just takes it. This is adorable. Dude, you should have should have said something. It's rough out here being into older women in medieval times because they're probably already married and have kids. Oh, that's so true. That sucks, man. Hey, man, but he could have asked. That's you rough, never know. You never know. You never, you never know. know. You never know. You know what that made me realize is that he just grew up in a small town. So even though he looks so much older than our characters, he is 
lacking in relationship experience. Like, mm. a lady complimenting him is enough to make him blush and just think about her for... That's it. so true. You know? Like, yeah. he has that mentality of a teenager where it's like, okay, I have a type, and I'm just like, please let this type fall into my lap. Yeah. You know? Like, he's not thinking about a real relationship or mm -hmm. what that entails. He's just like, ooh. The idea of it more than wanting to actually pursue what he's looking for. Yeah, because as soon as he saw his ideal, he was too flustered to even yeah. <laughs> do anything. So that's just very interesting to me. It's cool. I like it. I think Freeran, the perspective is just so much higher because our main character is immortal that I can look at him, who's a guy who's probably older than I am right now, yeah. and think, wow, he's just a kid. Yeah. You know, like he's... He's young. Zorig. Ew, what? I don't even know how to pronounce that. How did she pronounce it? Can I hear listen? Oi... Sosto? Oi... 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 Hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, no. He sure looks like a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> he looks sick, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Why? Why? He looks. He has a similar hair color to Stark, don't you think? Him? That guy? Yeah. Oh, oh but yeah. You know. It's red. Yeah. Mm. It's just like a slave. What does that mean, high handed? I have no idea. No. Uh, this is awkward, bro. <laughs> Mom, please. Dad, please stop fighting. <laughs> She said you're broke. <laughs> What's your point? She called you broke. <laughs> yep. Bro, what is happening? <laughs> Klee region. Aha! Aha! Oh my god, what the hell? Because... Yeah, dude! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is he trying to get a replacement son? I'm thinking, this isn't a comic got killed situation. Is he gonna be secretly fucked up? A month ago. Only a month ago? Oh my god. What? Why have the, the Is he trying to replace his son? Yeah, no, I don't think so. But what is he trying to. Like, why did he keep it a secret? Is the real question. Yeah. Yeah, because if. That makes sense. And then he'll have Stark die a glorious death. You don't die or whatever. Whoa! Whoa! Damn. Yeah, that's actually a good cover. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I love how indirect Fern is. She isn't like, guys, I think we should do this. We need the money. She's just like, guys, this is yeah. so much money we have. Oh, he's getting princess training. He is you know? getting his, yeah, he's getting his prince training. <laughs> I thought about saying prince and I was like, no. It doesn't hit the same. No, it doesn't hit the same. Yes! It's his princess uh, arc. I just, I just, I don't trust a man who's try, who, who would, who seems this indifferent a month after his son dies. I get what you're saying, but everyone grieves differently. Yeah. Oh my god, he got his princess training. 
<laughs> well, that made my heart flutter. I don't know about you, Fern. Made mine. Ah! 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 <laughs> she lying. She lying. You lying, bitch. You know you love me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you were saying. That's the first time we see him smile. Dude, I don't trust this guy at all. I don't trust this any. This is all. This feels, this feels wrong. That's interesting because I trust him a lot. Mm. If anything, he's nicer than Stark's father. You know what I'm saying? Oh no. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Ooh. Interesting. Oh no. He's got trauma, bro. He fights with an axe usually, right? Yes, he does. Do you think he fights with it because the sword is too much drama, you know? Too much weight to it? Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yes. This is gonna help him get closure with his dad, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes! This is exactly what I'm talking about, bro. Oh, oh wow, that's very interesting. Yes, now she's gonna get her princess training! Oh my god, yes. we're both getting princess. <laughs> 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 oh my god, that's Christmas. Yes! Dude! What is the childhood movie that I grew up on? Boo! Anti-corset propaganda. Boo with this man. Boo this man. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Ah! Dude, so the good. animation's so yeah. good! Dude, 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 I'm hyped. Oh, I love balls. I'm usually not into like girly stuff, but anytime it's a ball, I'm like. It has the same. Ooh. It has. Ooh. Dude, they both clean up so nicely. Mm. This has um. What's my favorite movie? My actual favorite. Pride and Prejudice. Mm, this, right. this is gonna be Pride and Prejudice vibes. This kind of has like the like. Dude, we gotta start from the beginning. I need to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this, sorry. This kind of has the Avatar kind of appeal, where the animation is like consistently good. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Dude, I want princess training so bad. Guys, let me... To get paid to do princess training? Hell yeah. I used to balance books on my head when I was little. She's very good at it. Thank you. Yes. Yes! Mm -hmm. She says that, but her mm. heart's fluttering. <laughs> I just know it. Yeah. That's why she's just like, Oh, this isn't like you. You're making me nervous. Yes! <laughs> she's too nervous to look. Yeah! Uh, and she's really focusing on her feet, you know? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> He's leading her! Yes! Oh my yes, god. Queen. And she's finally looking at him! She's like starstruck. Dude, oh the god. music. Oh my ah, god! <laughs> we need more. We need more, like, just like. Are there more. Are there shows that are, have more, like, romance like this? Like, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm dude! A... She's dancing so beautifully in the animation of her skirt! Dude, look at this! Oh, these must be 3D models. You reckon? I think so. Hmm. But it's like, oh, yeah. look at Freedom! Oh my god, I love her ponytail. 
<laughs> There's no fucking. Aw, oh, they both class. look so good. I wish they would dance. Oh, I didn't see him. I didn't get to see him. Mm, Dude, with damn. his hair down, though? Yeah, he's got oh. the, like, he's got that kind of, like, ah, it's a certain kind of riz that he has when he's dressed like that. It's like the, um, All of them, honestly. The kind of John Wick, kind of, like, badass, mm. you know, middle-aged guy kind yes, of thing. Yes, I get yeah. what you're talking about. The best and then, yeah. Frida with her ponytail. We've never mm. seen her in a ponytail. God, and it had, like, the braid around the ponytail. Yeah. Wow. I honestly they could like the CG models in there looked good. They act, they blended per they fit perfectly. perfectly the I don't know if most people would even notice. No, I I couldn't even. I love point, CGI, I so I yeah, 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 in yeah, on yeah. It. The only like yeah the the I think the only there was like there was they, there was zoom in on their legs earlier, which was like kind of like not very well done. But it was like a really small shot that didn't really matter. So. Can you show it to me? Oh yeah, right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, they were walking in the hallway here. Oh, not during the dance. I don't care. Okay. Yeah. 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 It wasn't during the dance. No. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. It was. Yeah. The dance looked amazing. No, they 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 really went all out for that. And then his son wouldn't have died. Yeah. Mm. I don't think it was his son's wish. I feel like he's. Putting his own. This hurts so bad, man. Is he gonna be like, are you gonna stay forever? I don't think so, Del. I really trust this guy. Damn, when did you get a spine? Uh huh, exactly! Mm, you're right, I guess he is like, it would be nice if you stayed, but he's not. Aww. Man. 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 He thought maybe his son might have been alive. Mm. Oh, I think that's the point. Man, this anime never fails to make me cry. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, we're going into the credits. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yes. I really feel like this helped Stark get closure. Just like a little bit, you know? Yeah. Ooh, forgotten heroes. Humans develop quickly. Oh, we're seeing demons next episode. We are? Humans live a long time. Bro, we're seeing demons next episode. I'm but saying. humans don't live a long time. No, he said, he, no, he said humans advance quickly. Something like that. Oh, advance quickly. Oh, yeah. then I can see. Yes, yes, yes. I, I can see demons. demons. Oh, <laughs> this ought to be a juicy episode. Yes. The der okay. Ooh, fantastic episode, beautifully animated, focused on the boys this time. Yeah, it was we got we got the boys back to back, right? Yeah. What a unique party dynamic we have here. I feel like usually you have 
pretty set archetypes. You know what I'm talking about? You have like you know you have your uh, you have your your, your spunky, passionate protagonist. He's the one driving everything forward. Right. You got your comic relief side character. You got your cool like rival character yeah. or like best friend. Yeah. Kind of depends on yep. the show. You know, like your Zoro type. You as you have a straight laced man in the chair. You know what I'm saying? You got your perverted character or yeah. character that's super into girls like Sanji. Yeah. Or or Jiraiya. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Here, it's kind of, like, wild, right? Because you have your main character who's, like, mourning and also just kind of old and tired. <laughs> <laughs> you have your side character who's, like, a tsundere, but not, like... She's not a tsundere. She's a kudere. Kudere, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, she's very stoic, um... But, okay, if but we she, but she feels more human than like someone like Ray, you know what I mean? Yes. Like she doesn't feel like robotic. She's just like Yeah, you know. I would like to describe Fern without using clichés. Feel free. Because I she just really does feel like an awkward teenager that doesn't know how to express herself well and has sort of a short temper. Yeah. Yeah. But she's also very responsible and competent and works hard you have stark who's like this like kind of like timid little guy yeah so, he's very expressive he's like the opposite of fern yeah he's very expressive not quite as level-headed gets scared easily but is also very sincere but it's still interesting because we don't and then we have our priest right you know he's sort of like he kind of fills the perverted roles sort of but he's a lot more like he's not like gross no, you know? he's not. He he just has a type, and he's, he's a type, yeah. yeah. I mean, I used to when I was in high school. You know, I was like, <laughs> yeah, he has a type, and he's down bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. But he's not like weird about it, you know. No, he ain't no master Roshi. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. But and then we have um, and I but I think what's interesting is that like, none of our characters are very driven people. Usually, mm -hmm. you have at least one very at proactive one. protagonist, but here you have a lot of very passive characters. Yes. Which is a super unique dynamic, and I think it's actually interesting. It's kind of interesting, and it, it, this weird thing happens. This kind of weird little tr magic trick happens, where mm -hmm. because every character is rather passive, um, suddenly, whenever a situation arises, you never quite know who's going to have to take... Sometimes they all get a chance to take charge, because none of them are the default person in charge. That's a great point, absolutely. And so little differences in the situation, not just extreme ones like my magic doesn't work, but little differences in like the like dynamic of a of a situation and or like what what they're dealing with change who is like who takes the lead, who takes the initiative. Right, because in one piece Luffy is almost always at the forefront mm -hmm. of even when an arc is focusing on another one of his teammates, yeah. usually it's Luffy that brings it all together, yeah. that like bonds with them. Yeah, it's a top-heavy story. Yes, it is a top-heavy story. And Luffy is like one of my, if not my favorite protagonist yeah. of all time. Because yeah. he's just so lovable and like, that's my captain, you know? Like, I'd be part of the Straw Hats, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, similar to you also have Go Goku is another example of like a top-heavy character structure where Goku's yes. like drive to want to like fight strong people is like what pushes the story forward yes so that's such an interesting point thank you for bringing that up i've never thought about that that's awesome yeah very interesting so i find it interesting because we've seen a lot of characters fight already and they all fight for different reasons i think like when when you see Friren and fern take on demons together it's very technical because it's a master-student relationship. Mm. So it's training, and they're very focused on that. And then when Stark gets introduced, it's him overcoming his fear. Even when he was fighting the female demon, you know? And she was copying his master's style. Yeah. It was about him conquering his fear and being willing to take a blow. And yeah. like learning from his master. Like things that his master had told him, and now being able to practice it in the present. So what I find interesting is that when we focus on the priest and we finally hear his thoughts while he's fighting, he's thinking about the morality of the situation. He's like, well, I can't fail here because if I die, then all these people are affected. 
Mm. I have to watch out because Friren might get hit. Like he's thinking about the well-being of the people around him and that's what motivates him to fight. And I just think that's so interesting that even what characters are thinking, like how they think while they're fight while they're fighting is taken into consideration. Like that's how deep the writing goes. Because mm. easily, for example, maybe this is a bad example. But let's just say like in Naruto or a show like that, most characters will think about the best strategy. Yeah. You know, like they'll think similarly because the writer is writing in their perspective and not from the character's perspective. But in this show, the writer is writing based on the character's perspective yeah. even during an action scene. Yeah, Stark is thinking about his own insecurities. This guy's thinking about how to best protect everyone. Everyone has like their own thing. Yeah, Friren and Fern are super technical. Yeah. Yes. Friren barely even has to think at all. <laughs> Honestly, sometimes she's just like having flashbacks. Yeah. <laughs> she's fighting. She's yeah, like, she's just flexing. <laughs> no, not even flexing. I think she's like having like, man, mm. my friends are dead. <laughs> <laughs> can you can we turn? Oh, yeah, I see exactly what you're saying. Yes. I missed this line right here. Cuz he's thinking, yeah. If I fail, this is going to go wrong. If this if I keep throwing blasts, one of them that Ricochet might hit. Yeah. Friren. Like, we've never heard Stark think that way or Friren yeah. think that way, even if they're fighting together in close proximity. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I just... It's a little thing, but I appreciate that because I know that that takes, like, extra effort and most writers don't even think to think about that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I think it's just a testament to the writing prowess of the author. And I really love character-driven shows. Because there there can be shows that are absolutely fantastic masterpiece 10 out of 10, and they won't have stuff like this. And that's fine, but I love that this is the strength of it's, Friren. Characters is, like, really what you care about when you watch it, I think. I, yeah, I think that's why Friren is, like, already in my top 10 mm. favorite anime, and we're only on, like, episode 15. Yeah. Is because I just... It's been a long time since I've seen such a... Well written show. Yeah. It's beautifully animated. The plot is interesting. Yeah, anyway. Mm. It's very satisfying. It's yes. very satisfying. I do, I love shows that just make sense. They don't have dumb stuff happen. <laughs> and I just really loved the focus of these, this episode. How it was building trust between Friren and... Bro, what's our priest guy's name? I still don't know. I'm sorry. What's his name? Can you look up Friden Priest's name? Same. No, is that someone else? Yeah, same. Okay. Right? And anyone get spoiled for anything. I'm afraid I, I'm afraid I'm gonna click on the weekend to be like Sane was like was a priest or whatever. Oh like, you know what I mean? yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do they do that? They don't have to do that. There was a, yeah. There was a sadistic person. That's why I got spoiled for Hunter Hunters. I googled, I was curious about a thing about a character, and I tried to remember a thing, and I googled, I went the weekend for things, it was, this character was, and I was like, Man! <sighs> don't treat them like they're real people. Talk about them in present tense, always, okay? Anyway. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just love that the first part of the episode was building trust between Sane and Friren, and, dude, Maybe I got weird shipper brain, but I I love saying being like, hey, Frieden, do you want to dance? And she's like, nope, I want to eat cake. And I was like, hey, Sane, were you? Were you? <laughs> I wonder if that's like Endgame, you know? I wonder if eventually like, yeah. the two of them is, is like going to be a thing. I highly 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 doubt it yeah I, but it's yeah. really fun watching them like flirt right I yeah. Love yeah, yeah i yeah. mean like frida started it she was yeah like, yeah, yeah. yeah she really did start it yeah so yeah. i enjoy that i love that little kind of running gag and i'm curious if they'll go further with it or if they'll just leave it as is uh, Himmel's yeah. gonna be rolling <laughs> brave bro molding he's <laughs> He's already bald. You <laughs> <laughs> have to do him like that. He was a cutie, even in his, like... Morph Dude, stage. did he, like, 
die at 60 or something? It was 60, right? It was 80. It better be 80. My boy deserves. Yeah, so I just like them building trust. And I do think that is Frieden's personality. It's just listen to her words. You know, like she's not that good at communicating. So just take her at face value. She doesn't... She's not passive aggressive. You don't have to read between the lines. Yeah. She's a very straightforward person, and you can trust her words. And I love. Yeah. Him. She just says exact. She, she tells you exactly as much information as she thinks she needs to say. Yes, and I loved him like over analyzing what she said and it yeah. all being accurate. It's awesome. Because as soon as she said it, we were both, we trusted her. We yeah, were like, yeah. five seconds? Like, she knows. Yeah, she'll yeah, only be awake She didn't even bother seconds. aiming. Did you notice that? She was like, eh. <laughs> no, no, no. I think she was specifically trying to get an angle that would get right into the, because it was uh, very. Oh, with the arc. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Pinpoint precision. Yeah. I but don't know. it's also possible that she was like, okay, I need to get it out. Yeah, that's my that's my head cannon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she, she gets it she out and like, oh, then cool. she directs it from there. Yeah, yeah. she yeah. fired before she knew it. She's like, oh, I'll aim it. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I think that is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the second episode, I just loved Stark getting closure. <laughs> it really was two up. It was two chapters, probably, but yeah. Yeah, it was two chapters. I'm sure, but yeah, I just loved him getting closure. Like, ah, man, it was so nice that the dad got closure for his son. Well, Stark got closure for his dad, and just seeing yeah. this happy family dynamic that Stark will never experience because his dad is dead, but just being able to see that and know that that kid is going to be taken care of and that his dad loves him, yeah. it's just so healing. I think this is why people care about representation, because sometimes when you see someone in a similar situation to you and seeing them overcome mm. it, it just feels so much more real and makes you believe that you're gonna be okay, you know? Yeah. It just hits closer to home. So, yeah, I'm just I'm just happy for my boy Stark getting his prince training. Ooh, he's a catch now, you know? Like he was a good <laughs> boy before, but now Fern, you better you better watch out. You better treat him well. You're lucky you met him first. First, you got first move advantage, you don't waste it. Exactly, exactly. Treat him well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'd be saying the same thing to Stark if Stark was being mean to Fern, but Stark is a good boy, so. Stark is a good boy. We just gotta remind Stark Fern. is a good boy. He's such a good boy. Yeah. God, that animation and the dance scene was just. It was beautiful. What a lovely couple. Even everyone on the sidelines was like, wow. I, I thought that I like I liked the directing of that scene better than the fight scene earlier. And that by like I liked it so much. Like that was like the, yes, that was like the beautiful. highlight of the episode. That's me. so yeah, now that I think about it, the scene that stands out in my mind is the dance and it's not mm -hmm. the action scene. Even though when the action scene was happening, I was like Bro, this is fantastic. I wasn't ready. Isn't that so cool? That's amazing. Yeah, that's the strength of Frieden. Yeah. We remember the dance better than the action. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I think I covered everything. You want to say goodbye to the folks? Fellas, ladies, everyone in between, those main certain to maintain their ambiguity, like myself, uh, thank you for watching. Oh, do we not introduce ourselves in the beginning? We did not. Oh yeah, I'm Cuddles and this is Carnage, by I'm the Carnage way. Carnage and this is Cuddles. No sir, my name's Ariel and this is Fidel. I'm Fidel and this is Ariel. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> we got one thing right. I said I'm Carnage and this is Cuddles. Wait, oh you had it right this time? Yes, I had it right this time. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Cotton 4K just assumed I was wrong. <laughs> Instantly. First of all, oh you're wrong. No, stop it. <laughs> I'm Just sorry. because I was intentionally wrong four times in a row doesn't mean you can assume I'm going to be wrong every single I'm time, okay? Sorry. Yeah, you better be. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Guys, if you want to see the next episode, <laughs> it is on Patreon. Patreon.com slash cuddling in carnage. It's, on, it's in the description. It's also in the bio of our channel. Join if you're interested in supporting us so that Woo! we can get videos out faster for you guys and I can quit my job. <laughs> okay. Join the Patreon. Join our Discord. I'll, I, I check in on it as much as I can. I, yeah. 
I, man, I just, I love you guys. Thank you so much for 1,000 subs. This is my dream. This is my dream when it's coming true. Make the <sighs> dreams come true. Love you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We gotta do this. We gotta do this. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <gasps> you. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. <gasps> hey, let's go.